It's a move that would once have been unthinkable. Young royals packing their bags and coming to America. But a new modern day expansion is underway with royalty. From Japan to Denmark and of course the UK, bucking tradition and making the move. The Danish royal family announcing over the weekend the youngest son of Queen Margareta, Prince Joachim and his wife Princess Marie are set to pack their bags and move to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. While New York City is now the new home of former Japanese princess Mako Kumuro. And now there's even speculation over here that Prince Andrew's youngest daughter, Princess Eugenie, may also be considering a move stateside too. Reports are that she and her husband have been looking for a property in California. You know, she's pregnant with her second child. We've all seen how fantastic life looks for children in California. So who could blame her? An official decision has not been made public, but a new house in the Golden State would make her neighbors with cousins Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, whom she's remained close with even after the couple stepped down as working worlds in 2020 and moved to Montecito blaming intense media scrutiny and a lack of support back home. I realized that I wasn't just being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. Experts say these latest royal relocations are also partly the result of a shift in modern monarchies as they look to slim down their courts. Prince Joachim's move comes just months after Queen Margareta stripped her four grandchildren of their royal titles. And Princess Mako gave up her royal status in 2021, all to marry her college sweetheart. Harry and Meghan were not the first royals to move to America. In fact, Princess Madeline of Sweden settled in Florida back in 2018. And before that, Princess Beatrice lived in New York for two years back in 2013. But Harry and Meghan have been able to capitalize on their American lives like no other. Hey, it's me. I'm just excited to be myself and talk and be unfiltered. Launching a podcast, releasing a Netflix docuseries, and Harry writing that revealing memoir all amid a royal family feud. Their new neighbors will likely live slightly less public lives. Joachim will hold a new position under the Ministry of Defense at the Embassy of Denmark, while Mako's husband is registered as a New York City lawyer, and she reportedly volunteers at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. These are jet-setting, successful families. I think lots of people see uh, America as a land of opportunity, and so America seems like the perfect option for a new start. The land of opportunity. Now, of course, the big question on this side of the pond, will Harry and Meghan be coming back this direction for the coronation? We have reached out to everyone for comment. No one can tell us. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Come on out to the land of opportunity. Here we are. <laughs> Molly Hunter, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.